Hello right. there. Kyle Katarn here. I'm the Bendu. Coming back for another reaction to the Bad Batch. That's right. Part two of the midway season drop of the, uh, yeah, the two-parter that they gave us this this fine evening. Hell yes. Episode, Episode six was three. badass. Um, and it really left us, like, in the middle of the action. We need to dive right back into it. We got Wolf thrown into the mix randomly right at the end. I still think it's Tech, man. I still think Tech is the operative who's coming in right now just based on his tactics, based on his precision and the fact that he's using his knowledge of the way every, all of the surroundings to, to, to choose where to take his shots, you know, like the way he disabled the hollow terminal to make it explode. That's some advanced level. Like, Tech always has kind of a Sherlock Holmes kind of quality to how he does his targeting, and I really feel like that's, that's coming through with this guy. That being said, I could be totally wrong. So far, every single shadowy helmeted clone I've been like, it's tech! <laughs> well, also but one of them is going to be tech, I'm telling you. I'm yeah, telling you. They're, also, they're also making a very specific point to, like, semi-muffle the voices and, like, kind of give them a synthesized thing so you, like, can't quite tell. They know that we're going to be suspicious, and they're playing it up, and that there's, le there's red herrings all over the place. And, like, yeah, disguising the voices, that's totally one of the ways that they're making us suspicious on purpose. But then again, but then again, they could just just pull a Merrick on us and just like you could just yeah, could just be fart them. gas. Could be no one in there. Could be no one. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's time to get into it. Bad Batch season three, episode seven. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Disney blockade. Are you ready, best friend? I am. Once my eyeball starts fucking twitching, no, I'm good. Damn. Better stun your eyeball. Just. Dude, he took like Dude, three if you, shots. If you shot your eyeball at close range, like, even with stun, that shit would explode. Bro, the, they stunned his ass. Like, like he got shot with three Cheerios. That was hilarious. Yeah, like they, right, they, like they, boom, boom, boom. No hesitation. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But yeah, I, I always, I always thought it was so badass. There's, a, there's a scene in Rebels where Rex gets taken down with stun, and like they hit him with the stun, and he like gets back up, and they have to stun him like two more times because oh, yeah. he's just so tough. When he's like old man Rex, he's just a tank, you know. Oh, that's right. I think that was that during um, the uh, uh, super tactical. It was one of the. It was one of the episodes where they were in stormtrooper armor, infiltrating. I think they were trying to rescue Ezra. Oh, and he just had a PTSD flashback. No, no, no. They get like, they get. Ca he gets captured. He gets. Ca it's it's one of the early on episodes that Rex is in. Like, I thought it was an ally having. This Rex gets captured and they ha and then Kanan has to go back for him. It's the one where he's like, ah, I gotta go save my friend. It's like the one where the relationship like gets to the next level. Yeah, I just remember Rex is wearing Stormtrooper armor and he takes like a couple hits, t a couple stuns to actually take him out because he's just so tough, you know? That's funny. I know that like, you know, like blanks, if you put blanks in a gun but shoot someone at close blank range, it'll fuck them up, you know? Like it'll still do some damage potentially. So I'm wondering if you like set your blaster to stun, but you shoot someone point blank with it, like, is there a distance where you can damage someone with stun, like actually hurt them? Or is it always it just like, like what the stun, I guess it depends on what the stun is. Like if it's like how it functions. Taser. Yeah, cause like, cause you can get killed with a taser, you know? Like, a, like if you have a pacemaker or something, like the taser can just take you out straight away. So that's why like, like police and stuff, they can't call it non-lethal anymore. They have to call it less lethal. Cause like it can still kill you. You know, a beanbag gun now, can kill you. Because now I'm thinking of, like, ion blasts. Because, like, you can shoot... Right, that's like, what it is. What Stun is an ion blast, blast for right a now. human. Yeah, right, like, because we've seen Vader... Well, I, I can't say it in comic-wise. Because, like, in fan films, we've seen Vader get hit with stuns and EMP blasts. And, like, we've seen him... Oh, yeah, dude, that hap that's happened in the comics now. a million times. Yeah, but I'm, tr but I'm trying to Va think of, like... If we were to see a humanoid get shot with a stun versus a humanoid getting shot with an ion blast, like, theoretically, would it be the same? Because, like, well, I don't know. Ion's meant for droids, but the stun is still electrical, right? So it's Ion like is meant for machinery of all kinds, technology of all kinds. So it'll disable a starship. It'll disable Darth <laughs> Vader because he's more machine than man. Right, and, yeah. like, droids and cyborgs and stuff. But, like, if you were to hit a human being with an ion, I mean... We're talking about an anti, like an anti-starship electronic weapon. Like, if you're too close to that, it's probably just going to hurt you just because. But it's not going to, like, disrupt you the way it would disrupt electrical systems. You're like, you would need a stun blast for that. So, 
just because there is stun and ion, they exist separately from each other, I have to assume that they function differently, right? Because right? if, if the yeah. same thing worked on both, that would be one size fits all, you know? Then you could yeah, let us know in the comments. Anyone that's a Star Wars destroyed. expert on the functionality of how a stun, like how the Cheerios actually work, you know? Give us a breakdown because I would love to learn more about that. I've always kind yeah, of wondered not, how the process like of stuns actually work. Right. Yeah, what does it do to does it like attack your nervous system? Does it just shut you down? Like what's happening there? Awesome. Well, that was a nice little fun. That was a fun little tangent. Uh, are you ready, best friend? I am. Without further ado, Bad Batch season three, episode seven. Do it. Damn. Here we go. Is dude still alive? Yeah, I knew he wasn't dead. Ha ha! No backup. He's limping too. We need to get moving before the reinforcements get here. Is there another way off this spire? <laughs> There's always another way. Nice. Batcher's like, how am I going to fit in that hole? I was going to say, if Batcher doesn't want to go down somewhere, it's probably not safe. All right, here we go. Dude, all these were all these fucking commandos, bro. Plus no. Wolf. Oh, Wolf, plus Republic Commando, and a bunch of TK troopers. These are clones. They're not insurgents. They are both. Okay, so this is the beginning of Wolf getting radicalized. What squadron are you with? That's classified. I'm now in charge of this operation. You answer to me. Is that clear? Hilo, set blasters to stun and move in. Hilo, huh? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So Wolf is his own... Wolf is still his own person. And he's got rank right now. If he's con if he's in charge of the, the, the commandos. Set charges and seal this passage. We'll pin them inside. Sir, the operative has gone after the target. Should I pursue? Negative. Your wolf's like, fuck this guy, I don't care. They fuck fully him. don't trust the operative. They, yeah. they can tell that there's something sus about this, even though they're technically all on the same side. Damn, well they should have disguised the secret back door a little Head better. Was that a blooper? I think that was an animation mistake. Wolf just pulled his sidearm out of the holster, but then his hand was empty, but it was in the gun-holding position. My man just drew an imaginary blaster pistol. They're coming. Oh, shit! Whew! That took me by surprise. <laughs> this operative is, is crafty, but he can't outsnipe Crosshair. Right? Even with his shaky hands. Ooh! Mirror trick, let's go. Ooh! Oh, that was a little baby Rhydonium explosion. Do you see those colors? Nice. Get down. <laughs> Man, that is oh, the most rinky-dink little shuttle. Hey, it really is. But you know what? They're on the opposite corner of Wolf, so fuck it. How, f how far is his range on that? No, not the engines! Come on, man! Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. Going down. Oof. Pinpoint the crash site. Yes, sir. I said to you. Stun blasts only. I prevented the target's escape by shooting down her ship. Their vessel crashed in the upper jungle region. Get the shuttles in the air. This isn't over. I mean, since both shuttles are now leaving towards the crash site, it'd be a perfect time to double back and make it back to the spire, you know? You could 
Uh-huh. Got your crossbow. Yep. Sure you can carry those supplies? Yes. You're as bad as Hunter. Oh, I'm much worse. <laughs> Aww. I like their relationship, actually. I've seen how you are with the kid. You're different than you were on Rylov. So, what changed? Loyalty meant something to me. But with the Empire, it didn't go both ways. I realized how disposable I was. You're not the only one. Honestly, I think that might have been enough to squash the beef. That might have been oh, enough to squash, squash the beef, beef right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, between yeah. Hauser and Crosshair. Oh, 100%. What is Batter tracing? I hear it too. Oh, shit. No, oh, bro, they totally fucking just saw you. There's I no know, way I don't even know what they're trying to hide behind the rocks. Nice. That'll help. They're all firing stun, too. I hope Omega gets a kill with her light crossbow, her energy crossbow this episode. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, good job, Badger. God, they're so quick. Boom. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they oh. murked that pilot. <laughs> No! Fuck, not Nemec. Good job, Crosshair, using the thermal. I feel like Crosshair's about to get into a melee with this guy. Right? Oh! Nice! Disarmed. Yep, the melee's coming. You can tell. Beautiful shot. This is very Predator. Of course he has a side. Yeah, of course. Oh! <laughs> Dude! That was a hell of a tackle! Damn. But oh shit, they're both still standing? Oh my god. I'm thinking he's got to be a Batcher at this point from how much of this he survived, you know? Bro, what if Crosshair dies right now, dude? No, there's no way. Come on. It's giving very Black Panther Killmonger vibes right now. Oh, fuck! He's just drowning him? Come on. No, what? So much being for a kid. Hauser, now. yes! Oh, god damn it. Now he's falling again. He's not. E <laughs> if that is tech, then god damn. Yeah, the operative definitely survived that fall. And they have to know it, too, you know? Echo, where the fuck are you? That's not Echo. I was about to say, that's not the ship Echo left in. But it is Wolf! Yes, here we You're go. Wolf, though, if right? Wolf can talk you know, like... to, to Rex and Gregor. Yeah. He can yeah, get through exactly. to him. He can get through to him. Let's out. fucking go. Let's go. Yes! Let's go. I thought you were dead. Report said you were killed in action. He's missing his eye! Well, he's not missing, it's just blind. Oh, they're talking about the finale. Don't tell me you're fighting against us, against the Empire. They're imprisoning and experimenting on our brothers. Killed others. The Empire wouldn't do that to us. 
Oh, come on, Wolf. Open your eyes. We have to stop them. You can help us. I am a soldier of the Empire. Open your eyes. You're hunting a child. I know that's not who you are. As your brother, I'm asking you to do the right thing. Sure, he's talking to him so calmly. How does he do it, though? How does he turn without immediately getting murked by all these dudes standing around him? Oh, and here comes Echo. Yes! Dude! It's now or never, Wolf. Come on, man! Well, dude, can you imagine if Wolf sees Echo? God, this is... Yeah, you're right. This is so fucking tense, dude. If they see each other, it's... it's there's no way he won't join them. Come on. Because, like... Because could you imagine... Like, Wolf doesn't know that Echo is, like, you know part screwdriver. That's a beautiful shot. You're right. Wolf hasn't seen any of that. Oh, Wolf. Bro. So he's not I'm leaving afraid. with them today, but he's. this is the first step of his Bro. journey towards realizing the Empire. Fuck, it sucks. Dude, I'm afraid for what's going to happen to Wolf now, though. Like, we know, obviously we know he's going to survive because we see him in Rebels, right? But, like, bro, he's going to get put through that fucking ringer. If he's smart, he'll leave he's gonna... right after this. But, sir, uh, they're traitors. Perhaps. But they're clones. We owe them that. Damn. Wolf's about to return a changed man, though. Like, he's not going to be the same after this, and he'll never be able to feel good about working for the Empire, you know? He can't shake what he's been told today. And this fucking guy, this of course, is guy. still alive. This fucking guy. He's still alive. You know, I thought that the end of the war would mean an end to losing more of our brothers. I was wrong. The Empire is too strong. I can't just walk away. Not now. And neither can you. Yeah, winnable or not, this is your fight. You need to find out why she's so important to them. Project Necro. Those were two, that was a pair of fantastic episodes, man. Those were both really, really good. They were good. very opposites. They were both kind of very polar opposites. But I'm a little surprised that Rex doesn't know what the M count is referring to. Um, but also, like, they have the holonet, right? Surely they can just Google or, like, space Google M count and they'll get their answer. The thing is, like, a lot of information has been scrubbed, anything pertaining to the project, but there's no way they scrubbed everything to do with the Jedi. Like, midi-chlorians is like a basic, basic force knowledge kind of thing. I'm sure they could find that information just, like, out there, you know? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I feel like, especially for the Empire and especially for a, a collective universe of which a majority of their data and information is stored digitally, I feel like it would be very easy... For the government to just blacklist and just blot out. Yeah, I guess so. I know you're right. They could use the whole like find and replace function to just remove all records of it. Yeah. And I mean that does kind of make sense too, because like so many people think that Jedi are a myth. A short like 19 years later, you know. Because even when they were at the height, there wasn't a Jedi on every single planet. You know, so many people had yeah. never seen one. Before. And I think it's so, they like kind of mentioned. I don't know if they. I don't remember if they mentioned it on Andor, or if we just sort of speculated. But the fact that like a lot of those artifacts are seen as um, contrabands or like illegal, they're yeah. propaganda, or like you know almost in a way they're anti-imperial propaganda to own something that's related to the Jedi. Yeah, it's it's like, it's, 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 it's viewed in the same sort of bad taste as like having memorabilia from from like a war. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, that that belongs to the enemies, you know? Like, you can't display that. Like, there's the same sort of stigma around Jedi stuff and Jedi knowledge, I think, in the Imperial era. Yeah. And that's, obviously, I mean, that's by design, but, yeah, I feel like I feel like there's got to be some sort of, like, an archive where that information is... Maybe, maybe the Bad Batch wouldn't have access to that necessarily, but, like, Rex, having been around 
Obi-Wan and Anakin and Ahsoka so much. I feel like he, he should have like absorbed at least a little bit of rudimentary force knowledge sure just he knows what like hearing the constant yeah. conversations about it, you know? I'm sure if he heard the word midi chlorians, his brain would be able to like put two and two. It'd together. be like memory like, unlocked, yeah. Like, like yeah, but just totally. the word M count like has no sort of it, I, Yeah, that no, that's true. It could refer to so many different things that it's not really fair to be like, well, obviously they should know it's midi chlorians. Yeah. As the audience, we get that, but Rex hasn't watched Star Wars, right? He just fought in the Clone Wars. <laughs> he doesn't know everything that we know. No, that's that's a very fair point. I thought that it was a really cool way of like bringing Wolf in and not just like immediately having him join up with them. Like he's still going to go back to the Empire oh, and he's still going to have the whole same like thought process that Callus had after the Honorable Ones when he goes back to his ship and he's just like cold, very cold reception, you know? I mean, same with Cody. I mean, we never got to fucking... Where the fuck is Cody? Cody? We don't even know where Cody is, man. But we know that he went AWOL after yes. some point. Like, yes, he couldn't stomach what was happening either, and that seems to be like the common thread for all of them. Cody, however, he's a wild card, because we don't know what he left to do, you know? He could be totally just done with all of it, you know? He's, he's a rare case in that all the other clones that we've met are, like, trying to pick up the pieces... He's the only one that really has to cope with having gone through with Order 66, you know? That's true. He, he like, in his know. mind, he murdered Kenobi, and he's got to live with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This was a fantastic episode. Um, I thought the visuals were great, too. Like, like those wide shots, especially oh, at the end of, like, the Wolf sky. with his contingent of Imperial soldiers oh, on one side, and then, like, the Batch on the other side getting on the shuttle. Oh, that looked awesome. Uh, yeah, the purples, the sparkly stars that they were able to give on those nightscapes were just absolutely gorgeous. Um, getting absolutely. just a lot of the different highlights, the flame flickers were able to give from the explosions on the different various like clone armors were just like there was a lot of yeah, man, it's, that, that it's crazy happening. what a difference lighting can make was really in dark. animation like this. It was really difficult to see certain things, but the other, but there were other moments that were just like phenomenal. Or certain dialogue things that were just great, especially the fact yeah. that they like kind of they kind of gave us a jump scare of just like, oh shit, is Crosshair gonna get drowned right now? Like, <laughs> who's gonna die? I didn't believe it for a second. Who's gonna die? Which person's gonna die? Nobody dies. I, I do think Crosshair like, could die yeah. in this season, but I oh, that wasn't the time or place. Yeah, it was close though. I, I think that we finally got resolution between him and Hauser, like that they got to like hash it out a little bit, and Hauser gets to see. That Crosshair has been humanized, you know? And also getting to see that, like, Crosshair and Omega have such a solid relationship now. Like, they really have their own unique dynamic outside of the batch, you know? That's true. Man, he's come such a long way since season one. Like, you root for him. You, like, don't necessarily condone his choices, but you feel constant empathy for this man. And I think that's a sign of really good writing, you know? And if he does die at the end of this, I'm going to be real sad. Because Crosshair is fucking awesome, honestly. Easily one of my favorite characters. Most, Probably the most dynamic character in the whole show. I, th I think it's fair to say. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reaction to The Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 7, Extraction. Really enjoyed it. Um, it has been edited to comply with fair use. It's been trimmed down to 10 minutes of licensed footage. If you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.